Hi all folks, this is Max from SamsungEpicHacks.com and ZeroMax.com. Today we're going to learn how to unroot uh, our Epic 4G. For, for some reason you've bricked it, um, maybe you need to return it to Sprint for a warranty, uh, whatever. Or, you know, sometimes when you install like a Froyo ROM to a gingerbread ROM and you switch it back and forth, sometimes your phone's kind of... You know, messes up, and you can always go back to completely stock Froyo 2.2 um, with the Samsung upgrade tool that Samsung gives you. Anyway, I'll have links on my blog post, so check it under the video uh, where you can download it. It's the Samsung Hapic Hacks Unroot.exe. Download that, install the program, run it, and you'll get something like this SW upgrade for SPHD 700 which is the model number for the Samsung Epic. So basically, um, I've got my Samsung Epic hooked up to my computer. And also you need to make sure you have enough uh, battery um, because if you're on like on 20, 10% battery and you try to do this and you know something goes wrong, then you'll brick it. But don't worry, if you do that, then you can always uh, recharge it and then just put it in download mode and you can do it. And also make sure you have the Samsung drivers installed. I have a, my previous video was on that and I'll have links to that on my blog post. Just check my blog post for details. Anyway, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the, the SP, SW upgrade for SPH and then just, uh, just, just agree to uh, accept the license. Click next and you'll get this thing flashing your phone. You can take all your uh, SD card out and make sure you can back up uh, back up your storage because um, it's going to erase the internal storage. Just follow the directions. It says remove the battery from the pack. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take my nails here, put it in there, pop it up. Um, also un unhook your USB. Go like that. Put it back in the battery, click next, and then now we're gonna put uh oops, we're gonna hold down the one button, right? We're gonna hold down the one button and then hit the power button while holding that down. And that'll get us to downloading mode. There you go. And then click next, and it'll probably ask you to plug USB cable back onto your Epic 4G. There we go. Right? That was easy. Do, 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 do. And then click next. And then now it says unplug the USB cable, right? And then click next. And then you're going to do the same thing again. Take the battery out. <clears throat> okay? Click next. Put it back in. You're gonna do the exact same thing again. Hit uh, the one button while while hitting the one button down. Hit the power button, and then you're gonna get the downloading mode. Hit next, and then plug the USB. And then it should start updating. And then, oh, hit next, sorry. And then hit the uh, software, oops, start software download. And uh, it's updating, so I'm gonna put the phone down. And you can see here, uh, the progress right down here. And if you're getting this uh, kernel, this progress, then it's working, it's copying over. And you can also see on the phone, oops, which way robot, that way. You can also see on the phone that it's, uh, the, the status bar is updating. Here, let me make that nice for you. See, it's moving. So when it's done, it should uh, unroot your phone to 2.2. And you can do this on any ROM. It doesn't really matter. Um, so it should be fine. Work on any ROM. 
and uh, we'll be back after it installs. It's almost done, um, 39%. And uh, this is a great way to unroot your phone. Um, and then next, I'm gonna have an updated video on how to root your phone with uh, Froyo 2.2. I'm not sure, I think I did it on a 2.1. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have to root it again because now it's completely stock. And it'd be great for you guys who just uh, got your new Epic 4G because it's, my new video is going to be based exactly off uh, the latest software update. And also I'm going to update it to the latest software update. So, you know, whatever problems you guys encounter, I'll encounter too. Plus, I, this is actually not my phone. That's why I haven't been able to make a, a new video. But uh, since I, I have it for a couple weeks now, um, I'm gonna, you know, update update it to the latest stock ROM. Show you how to root it, and then we'll go over uh, all the different ROMs um, that I've been trying, and uh, I'll have more videos. And also, also for our G2 users, I'll have uh, more videos on my YouTube channel at Zetomax, and also Joy2, and also Atrix 4G. Um, that's all coming, and also Samsung. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is that called? Nexus S. See how many phones, you know, I have to update all the time, but uh, it's a lot of fun for me. I just hadn't had the time. Oh, actually, it's almost done. So let me just show you that, uh, you know, I've just unrooted my phone in like five minutes. Hella easy to do. Um, if you're going to return your phone to Sprint, you definitely want to do this because um, if they found out you rooted it, they might not, you know, accept your phone back or whatnot. You know, but they can't tell once you update this, you know, Samsung gives you the software. So it's 100% done, and I've got OK, and I already got the phones rebooting already. And uh, it should boot up to the stock ROM. And that's pretty much it, you know. So next I'm going to try to see if this is the latest update. And I'm going to actually go root it again, take a video of it for uh, people who bought this phone recently. That way, um, you know, you can root it. And uh, um, that's it. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And if you have an Epic 4G, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my channel on YouTube. And also our uh, my site at SamsungEpicHacks.com. Um, you can subscribe to our email list, you know. You don't share your email with anybody and also there's a link to the Facebook page you know if you're on Facebook you can subscribe there um, anyway thanks you guys I'm gonna go I'm tired well actually let me just wait until it boots up to show you the first time it's gonna boot it's gonna take a long time because it's the first time it boots uh, but it did boot up fine let's see it's gonna take a little bit five more seconds five four Three, two, one, va. So, this is exactly the same as, you know, stock phone. Um, anyway, see y'all later. That's it. Getting too long.